What's going on, Buff Nation? Welcome back to another video. Happy start of the spring practice. We knew it was going to start today, and a lot of noise has been coming out from today's practice. We're going to talk about as much as we gathered from today, from the interviews, from some clips, all those things. Very exciting stuff. Before we do, of course, you know we got to do. We got to roll the intro, obviously. All right, so let's rock and roll, man. Let's talk about some breakout stars from just day one. I know it's only day one. How can you have a breakout star? But a ton of energy, ton of excitement. It's spring ball. We're playing inside. There's snow on the football field today. Exciting stuff. It's it's not football season, but it's damn near close enough, and we're going to take it. First order of business, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Omarion Miller was making some absolute noise today with this catch over Preston Hodge. Again, Preston Hodge, a, a transfer in. Marion being a top draft uh, recruit last year and getting a lot of praise and a lot of love after everyone saw this. And again, Preston Hodge, we're going to get into him a little bit. He interviewed today. They, he spoke about kind of what his what he's looking to do, kind of play a little bit cornerback, a little bit of a nickel as well. Cornerbacks uh, one-on-one is kind of what he's used to, where, he, where he's coming from, from Liberty. But he wants to play a nickel bit, wants to play in the box, wants to hit somebody. So this, to me, look, in this watching this clip alone, right? Somebody with Amari Miller, we know what he's going to be able to do. Obviously, with Preston Hodge, a big-time pickup, a big-time addition. This is one hell of a combination right here. And then you've got Shador Sanders, easily the uh, you know top three quarterback in the country, arguably the best quarterback going into the season in the country if he's protected. And then you've got a top-tier cornerback, a top-tier wide receiver, an up-and-coming wide receiver. I mean, you want to talk about iron sharp, sharpens iron and just why I'm excited to see what buff, the Buffs are going to do and why everyone else should be excited and why there is going to be some more hype, I would expect, even more so once the spring ball gets through, once we see that spring practice. And people and coaches were even talking about it today that there just seems to be a little bit more cohesion than last year. It seems to be a little more organized. It feels a little more established. And again, last year there was so much turnover. You're trying to get everything established. Everything's figured out. And look what they were able to do with all that chaos. Now we've got some stability. We've got some guys coming back. They're, they're moving a little bit different. Got a little more swagger about it. The game's a little bit slower. It's got to excite you. And then, and then I saw this graphic here. And this graphic really just, it's got to fire you up. It's got like, my goodness, this wide receiver room. And we've talked about it in the offseason. But when you see it on paper and then you're seeing what Amario Miller's doing on, on just day one, it excites you. I think Jimmy Horn, from what I heard, is dealing with an injury. It doesn't sound like it's that severe. But Jimmy Horn... Right, who we know what he did last year coming from USF was an exciting player looking to make a step up. Could he possibly not necessarily take a step back? But look at the competition. Travis Hunter, you know, is going to get the nod. Okay, Will Shepard, Tanya, kid's good. Okay, from Vanderbilt, kid's going to get the nod. Lejonte Wester, who we're going to get into in here in just a minute, he transferred in from FAU, was the number one or top five wide receiver according to PFF last year. This kid is an absolute stud and a certified pro. Okay, he's gonna get the nod, Jim. And then you got Jimmy Horn and Mario Miller, both young guys up and coming, and it's it's a good thing to have. It's a good problem to have if you're Coach Prime of the Buffs. But my goodness, this wide receiver room, and then the running back room. Cas- uh, Maskell obviously co- going to be making or getting some runs from Dylan Edwards. You know, probably splitting back there, kind of back and forth. I think Dylan Edwards is absolutely explosive. But this offense, I am beyond excited to see what they're going to be able to do. And we, everyone's talking about it. Everyone keeps talking about it. We're going to hop into the offensive line and what Phil Lowedout had to say about the O-line and Jordan Seaton. It's like, dude, just give Shador just, I don't know, an extra 30, you know, not a 30, an extra two seconds, and who knows what's going to happen. Look what he did last year, you know, lingering injury towards the end of the year, constantly running for his life. Defense was starting to figure things out, and it was just kind of just a bloodbath towards the end there. You don't need a crazy adjustment. You don't need a crazy adjustment. This, this projected offense my goodness, is uh, is something exciting to get to, you know, to look forward to. And then again, Lajonte, uh, Wester, wide receiver, he spoke about what, you know, what Shador is. Again, a certified pro, had a lot of great things to say about him, had a lot of great things to say about Colorado and transferring to Colorado. His little brother is playing linebacker, so he was excited because he gets to play alongside of his brother. So like, there's some chemistry there. And then he even spoke about that too. He's like, look, a lot of us are kind of getting in, we're getting established, getting things figured out. They even said, like, look, today was the day, day one of spring. Did that change for you? He's like, yeah, absolutely. Right? You've, been, you've been training all the last couple of months, been doing weightlifting. But today today things start. Today things get get, get official. Uh, you're playing ball. You're hitting somebody. It's going to get a little more uh, a, a chirpy. 
You're going to start pushing each other a little bit harder. And, and again, you've got a lot of experience on, even though you have transfers, and this is why I love the transfer portal. This is why I think this 40-40-20 is huge because, yes, are you bringing people in new every year to come in and make an impact and to do things and try to see how that's going to work? But you also are bringing in professionals in a sense. You guys, you're bringing in veterans. So they have this ability to adapt into whatever situation they need to, right, given their just their experience of playing a lot. So I love this addition. Also, the coaching staff made some upgrades as well too. Saw a little bit of a clip to the new D.C., Looked extremely comfortable. You got to think he is, again, coming from a very professional uh, background as well. You got to love that. And then Phil Lodout had a lot of great things to say about, one, the offensive line. He talked about the interview process with with uh, Coach Prime. But then he talked about Jordan Seaton. And this is what I love to hear. Because Jordan Seaton, we expect him to be a day one guy. And right now he's slotted to be the day one guy. And what makes these five stars separate? And when people don't have a hard time maybe understanding how a five star or a four star is you can look down the line and see size is there, right? You've got a three-star, four-star offensive lineman. They're the same size, maybe even a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit stronger than Jordan Seaton. But what they lack is up here. They lack the football knowledge. They lack, they lack the ability to move, have the game slow down for them. And when I hear that, when I hear players say, yeah, the game is slowing down for me, I immediately think, right, they're removing themselves, third, part, third person, bird's eye view, Right, they're able to see that game like in a Madden version and see what's happening around them and not have to think they just go, right? And that to me is what that's what separates these stars. They can see somebody just reacting versus thinking about reacting. Which when you're thinking that that quick second you have to think, the guy's already by you. And he goes, this this kid's football knowledge is through the roof. He's like the size, all that a hundred percent is there, but his football knowledge is far and beyond what you could expect for my freshman coming in and being able to do what he's able to do. So has the power, has the size, and then he backs it up with the knowledge, which again, which is allowing him to be that day one guy and be ready to rock and roll. So love hearing that about Jordan Seaton. He even said it. We, we talked about in the last video where he's put on some weight, getting stronger, getting more physical. We expect to see that kind of how that's going to play out as time goes. And then there was a cool little clip. I, I we've got, I got a clip that I'm going to post it on, on our shorts channel here where uh, Shiloh and uh, Coach Prime are going back and forth, and I actually uh, w- was talking about Shiloh being potentially, last video, about him being a first-rounder, right? He kind of gets slept on because of Travis Hunter and Chador. Those guys have so much hype behind them that Shiloh kind of gets overlooked a little bit, but Shiloh was really starting making some, was making some strides last year and made a huge impact in a lot of those late games, and I expect him to make a massive leap now. He even says, look, I may not be a first rounder given the circumstances and the needs of football teams, right? Safety's not necessarily going always at high. Um, and so he he recognizes that, but he goes, he kind of called his dad out. He's like, you were on Jimmy Fallon and I mentioned Shador, but you didn't say nothing about me being a first rounder, a top, you know, a top pick. And goes, Prime kind of just took a step back and goes, you right. That's my B. <laughs> That's my B. So I love seeing that interaction. I, I, I love Shiloh. I love his personality. I think it's fantastic. Then there was also an interesting clip it just it's crazy to me because he comes into the meeting, comes in there kind of just guns a blazing like, look, we got we got to want this. We've got to be hungry. We've, we've got to want this more than ever. The intensity seems higher. It there was intensity last year. I remember watching the well off media clips and seeing the the yelling and the, and the excitement, but it felt almost like it was there was yelling, but it was like an excited yell. This is like a stern father. Like we're not playing games. We have zero room for error. I'm established. We're comfortable, right? It's it's coming with authority. He's not second guessing that 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 thought process. Not that he second guessed it before, but anybody who knows anything, when you're if you're a dad or you're leading something, first time into it, there's a little bit of reserve, right? You're kind of questioning whether or not, hey, is this the is this the way that we want to go about it? Once you're established and you know who you are, 110 percent in your area, you know who you are going into it. But you're in a new territory. Got to adjust. They're locked and loaded here. So they're during the video. It's in the video. You gotta go watch it on Well Off Media. Uh, he's in the middle of the the meeting, and somebody's alarm goes off. And I heard the alarm, and I was like, "Oh goodness!" I <laughs> shut it off. Shut it off. And he goes, "Whose is it? Whose is it?" And nobody nobody said anything. And finally, somebody raised their hand. I don't know what's going on behind him. He goes, "Get out, get out, and don't come back till Wednesday." Like just just like that. I was like my goodness. He goes, you know the rules, no, no, no phones in here. It's like, how do you, that's a bonehead move. Bonehead move. You know what I mean? 
Bonehead move. We don't know who it is. Don't know who it was. Interesting, though. Very interesting stuff. But it is day one. Spring ball is is back. Uh, love the fact that we have the well-off media to be able to get these clips, to see these guys rocking and rolling, to see how they're doing, to get these interviews from the coaches and from the players. Obviously, we expect to get more. We'll definitely keep our eyes and ears peeled for those, you know, to watch those. Give, your, give us our thoughts and opinions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love, baby.